Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today what we're doing is we are looking at some bracelets that I purchased a lot of jewelry from a jeweler uh, not far from where I live. And she buys out estates. And then she resells the jewelry. And uh, she sells it kind of in a lot and so you know you buy the the bin of jewelry and you kind of take your chances on what you're going to find in there so it's kind of what I do when I get a Goodwill unboxing um sort of except I think overall the quality of what I've been finding is much better um and so far I'm liking it so I have been uh, going through these bins and trying to organize things, trying to learn a little bit about the pieces that I didn't know anything about. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little bracelet sale today. And I did throw in a few pieces that I've thrifted, but I would say 95% of what you're gonna see came from these bins that I bought uh, from this jeweler. So uh, let's dig in. And like I said, I'm overall very happy with what I have been finding. So we're kind of going to start um, lower price going up to higher price. So this bracelet uh, has been well loved. This one has some uh, nicks in it, some kinks in it. It is not magnetic. So let's take a little scratch. I have not tested these. So we're gonna learn together. I thought that would be kind of fun because I'm not sharing the whole unboxing with you. I thought, Okay, let's at least share <laughs> the uh, discovery of whether these items are sterling or not. And this one is sterling. So, wow. Okay, so it definitely needs a good polish. But we've got sterling bracelets. And this one is... Uh, a surprise. I did not think this one would be sterling. I'm starting out with this one, and I did say I was working my way up to the nicer items, but uh, here we go. F right off the bat, we got a sterling bracelet, and it is about a seven and three quarters, and there's no markings that I can see it does need a polish it does need a clean but if anybody would like this sterling bracelet it, it's got a decent weight to it um, I would say $30 for the sterling bracelet okay let me find a place to put all that all right then the next thing oh did I yeah I did measure it didn't I yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, I think I'm a little stunned that I started out with that sterling bracelet. I did not expect that. Okay, so here we have a stretchy, and the stretch is still really tight. It is very sparkly. It's gorgeous. And it is a size 6. Okay, so if anybody wants this sparkly, stretchy bracelet, that will be $5. $5 for that one. Then we have a clamp bracelet. It's working good. There's some superficial scratches to this. But I think a lot of it is because I have some bright lights on it and the camera. I don't think in real life you would be too distracted by these scratches. Uh, no marks. And 
this is a size, I would say six and a half. So if anybody wants this bracelet, that will be $4. We have another stretchy. Uh, the stretch is not as tight on this one. It will probably need to be restrung sooner rather than later. But it is, you know, pretty shiny and uh, it's got some nice beads. Without stretching it, it is, I would say, a seven. So we're going to go $3 on this because it does need to be restrung. Then we have a charm bracelet, and it is all dogs. We got all kinds of little puppies here. And let's see, here we go. We got a little paw print. We got a, a dog bone. We got a boxer. We have a, I don't know, a pointer. We have one of these little cuties, maybe a... Shih Tzu, I don't know. A little greyhound, a poodle. Cute. And let's see, this is a stretchy. The stretch is a little bit on the looser side. But everything else about this bracelet is really good. I mean, the charms are in great shape about a six and a half without stretching it. Oh, uh, let me get, I just have my, here it is. Okay, so not magnetic. I'm not thinking this is anything, but we're going to do a little scratch. Yeah, that's coppery. All right, so not magnetic, but awfully cute bracelet, charm bracelet. Um, maybe a little bit to wear on that one. The rest of them look good. So $5 for that bracelet. We have a really pretty uh, wood bracelet. Let's see what's going on here. I wonder if that can be kind of polished with some wood polish. At one point in its life, it was eight dollars. It says made in India. I like the different woods. I think overall, it's still a really nice bracelet. I would say it's roughly a seven and a half. So this will be four dollars. Okay. We have another stretchy. Stretch is good. There are there is some wear to the beads. So oh, something's caught on this. I'm just gonna put that aside here. So let's see. Without stretching it, it is a six and a half we're gonna go three dollars on this one because there's there's wear to the beads if you look okay then we have this one's a little different it is not a stretchy it's in good shape it does need a little cleaning again these came out of a bin where I think she collects, you know, from multiple states until she fills a bin. Because the bins are pretty large and I can't imagine all that coming out of one household. So I think that's what happens. So all the, all the little crystals are there. Like I said, it needs a little wash. It's got a fold over clasp. 
I don't see any maker's mark. I'd say it's a seven. And I'll go $4 on that one. So guys, if you want to purchase anything, email me at opportunitythrift at gmail.com and give me the date of the video, a timestamp, and a brief description of the item. And shipping for US is $5 if it's under a pound. And I will ship internationally, but it, you know, that'll depend on distance and weight and all those good things that we have to figure out. So this one's a black enamel. It has all the elements. Yeah, nothing's missing. It's got uh, like a magnetic closure, little clamper bracelet. Uh, like the others, it needs a little, a little cleaning, probably just a, a soft cloth with maybe some warm water, or maybe a little bit of dish soap, it'll be fine. And it, it looks nice on the inside. So that's, that's kind of nice too. So we'll go $5 on that one. Then we have a stretchy. These feel like natural stone. It's in good shape. The stretch is really nice. And I would say this is roughly a six, maybe six and a quarter. So $5 on that one. Then we have this one and it has these Aurora Borealis crystals. It's in great shape. It has this tassel. And it is a size six. It is not a stretchy. We'll go $5 on this one. This one looks to be in like new condition. Okay, then I'm gonna lot these because they're, they're all the same. They're mother of pearl. Uh, beige, green, and kind of this grayish lavender color. I think they're all the same. Let's see. That one's about an eight. Yeah. This one's maybe a tiny bit larger. Eight, eight and a quarter. Eight, eight and a quarter. Yeah, these may have been together when they started life. Um, so I will say $6 for the three. All right, and then we have this one. Kind of moon and stars, sort of. I Oh, it does have a maker's mark. What does this say? Okay, it says Sterling 925 Mexico. Sterling 925 Mexico or Taxco, one of those two. All right, so let's see if we agree, see if it's sterling. Oh, it's scratching up like it might be. But it eats it up. So I don't know if this might be... Um, you know, like an 800 or just a lower quality of sterling. It kind of has that feel of silver. It is not magnetic in the least. 
so I'm gonna go seven dollars on this one I'm not selling it as sterling but it's not testing as sterling with the other one but I think it's a very nice bracelet okay let's move on then we have this very pretty gold tone it needs a little wipe down it's a bangle it's about a size eight and a half and this one will be five dollars so for those of you that are new to the channel um, my name is Lillian and we do unboxings, we do jewelry sales, we do thrift store shopping and um, sometimes we just do something totally different if, if that's what I feel like doing that day or if I think I can score a bargain. So that's what this channel is all about. It's about thrifting and finding a good deal. So this one, I believe, is a copper bracelet. It looks copper. Not magnetic. And I think it has a beautiful pattern. It is roughly size 8. And this will be $5. Now, I do combine shipping so if you find something you like as long as you stay under a five under a dollar it'll be five pounds to ship and it doesn't even have to all be from this video it can be across any of my videos i will combine shipping so this is a six and a half these are all natural stones it is a little loose, I, I have to say. It, um, it could probably use a restringing in the near future. I think we've got rose quartz and some other natural stones. These are, um, I don't know what material these are. Maybe ceramic? Not sure. So this will be $4. Now this is one I did pick up thrifting, but I kind of wanted to just get it out there and try to resell it. Um, this is a size seven. And it's kind of a, a brassy, I think this is, you know, a brassy type of color. I'm not sure material wise, let's see. Not magnetic. I don't think this is sterling. Mm, I don't know, but I don't think so. Let's just test it anyway. No, nope. that eats it up. Okay. I'm going to go $5 on this one. Okay, then we have another enamel clamp bracelet. This one's pretty heavy. It looks really nice inside too. There's no maker's mark. I would say this is a seven. And if anybody wants this one, this will be six dollars. Six dollars for that one. Now this one, I just don't know, guys. It it feels nice. Okay, let's see. This is a Monet. Did not even spot that when I was looking at these earlier. So no wonder it feels nice. Yeah, this one is a Monet. It's really heavy. Uh, I don't know. Lucite <laughs> composite. I'm not sure. Uh, seven and a half. This one will be 
seven dollars seven dollars for the monet now this one is also very interesting to me and i don't know how to tell bake light i don't know if this might not be bake light it really um I don't know. It doesn't look like regular plastic. It doesn't feel like regular plastic. This part's wood. This part is this unknown material. If anybody can give me some clues and tell me a little bit about it uh, in the comments, I would appreciate it. I'm still learning, guys. I'm still trying to figure this all out. So seven and a quarter will go $8 on this one. I don't know exactly what it is, but it just feels really good. <laughs> it just does. All right, seven and three quarters to an eight on this one. Not magnetic. Oh, it's... Give this a little scratch. Hmm. Scratch looks promising. Let's see. Well, that's interesting. It, it's not getting that milky look. But it's not, not exactly being eaten away either. Let's see, I don't see any maker's mark. I don't see any stamps. There is a little bit of wear here and underneath, you know, it's not a solid color. So... I don't think this is sterling or anything. That's seven and three quarters. Um, this is the little spot where there's a little chip. The rest of it looks really nice. So we're gonna go four dollars on that one. Okay, then we have this one little bit of wear to the uh, fold over clasp but the rest of it looks really nice it's really just uh, just the clasp I don't see any makers mark it is let's see seven inches so if anybody would like this one that will be $4. Okay, then we have a stretchy. I think I picked this one up thrifting. I don't think that's from the estate jeweler. This is a six and three quarters without stretching it. These beads are really gorgeous. These are wood. These maybe ceramic. These are wood too. And they're carved and painted. Very, very pretty. This will be $5. Then we have this one. There is a little bit of wear to this one sort of has this uh, grape leaves and grapes. Grapes motif. There is wear on the inside too. But the, um, I love this clasp. It's very secure. Despite the wear, I think this one still has some life in it. I'm loving it. Six and a half. 
we're gonna go four dollars on this one because it's not perfect but i just i'm just really still really liking this one despite all its flaws i think it still has a lot of life left in it okay then this one is a copper and brass bangle it still has a ten dollar sticker from who knows when it looks like an old sticker an eight so we're gonna go seven dollars on this one I like that one. I think that one's really nice. We have a, I think, copper chain. Yep, yeah, it says copper even on it. And that's the clasp. It is a seven and a half. And I'm going to go $8 on this one. It's really heavy. We have another copper. And it sort of has a Native American, Southwestern feel to it. It's about a six and a quarter. Five dollars on that one. Okay, then we have this one. Really intricate design. Very heavy. Very nicely made. It's a bangle. No markings inside. All right, let's see the size on this. It's an eight. The only little area where there's some rubbing is right here. A little bit right here. I don't think that's something that just needs to be cleaned up. I think that's a little bit of rubbing, but the rest of it's in great shape. I mean, really gorgeous, gorgeous bracelet. $8 on that one. We have another copper bracelet with a Southwestern motif. I don't see any maker's marks. Oh, wait, I do see something. What does this say? It says solid copper. That's what it says. And then there's a little bell in the middle there. So I don't know if that's a maker's mark or not. But this one's really well, well made. This one will be $8. Then we have this one. Really pretty stones. I don't know if they're natural stones or if they're just uh, natural stones. I'm not sure, but they have like these little glistening gold specks in it so very pretty it's nicely made inside I don't see any maker's mark let's see here's the hinge okay so here's the opening Nice snap. This is a six and three quarters. 
magnetic. So we're gonna go $8 on this one. Then we have this one, which is a three. Pretty heavy. Don't believe, I, I wouldn't say these are hollow. They don't feel hollow to me, they feel solid. So about a seven three quarter to an eight. And they are magnetic. We're gonna go nine dollars on that one. Okay, then we have a silver tone chain. And this clasp does say something. It says Stainless steel china. And then something else after china. Okay. So stainless steel, this is seven inches. Six dollars for this one. And then this one's kind of nice. It's got this brushed gold look. And I am looking to see, are all the stones there? All the stones are there. Got a little kink here. Can we straighten it? I'm sure we can. <laughs> I'm just not able to right now. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to put this one aside. All right. This one's really unique, too. It looks like highly polished wood, but the wood looks really different and interesting I don't I wish I knew more about this it does it just looks I don't know I don't know if it's artisan made or it it doesn't give me the um feeling that this is a factory made piece this looks like something someone carved it looks really different and special is about all I can say. But I think it's wood. I don't know what kind. I wish I knew. So I'm going to go $9 on this one. That one just has a very interesting look to it. Not, not an ordinary wooden bracelet by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, this one had a chain. Chain is gone. Nice, solid click when it closes. Not magnetic. It is, it's got good weight to it, but I think it's hollow. I don't think it's solid. Let's check this one out. Looks maybe promising. Let's see. Oop. All right. Not sterling. Okay. So this one, I am gonna go eight dollars on it just it feels like it's well made I know it's not sterling I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't have some silver in it though it just looks like it might be I don't know it's got that look to it all right then we have this bracelet it has a nice clasp that, as you can tell, is tight. Not 
Now, it also has a lot of this green all over it. So I don't know if that's tarnish or if that is, and I have a hard time saying that word, ver vertig, vertig, vertigree? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you say it. Um, but let me see. Let's see if it's, mm, I don't think so. It's kind of coppery. Yeah, no. So you know what? I'm not going to sell this. I think this probably needs to be thrown away. I just don't want that to spread to everything else. Okay. What do we have next? We have a fold over clasp on a really pretty, in excellent shape, gold tone bracelet. Okay. Here we go. Well, that looks like it's brand new. It says Korea. Really, really pretty. And seven inches. So I am going to go $8 on this one. I think this is a very beautiful vintage piece. Okay, then we have another one. This is the same. Yeah, that one says Korea too. Let's measure this one. This one is about six and three quarters inches. In great shape, like new. We are gonna go, let's check. Yeah, they're both magnetic. We're gonna go $7 on this one. Okay, then we have a rhinestone with a fold over clasp. Let's see if all the stones are there. They are. This looks definitely vintage. Okay, five dollars on this one, and this one also says Korea. Let's just do it this way this time. Seven and a quarter in like new condition. Four dollars for this one. Okay, then we have a clamper, and this one probably could be clamped many different ways to accommodate different sizes. It looks like new inside. The way it is right now, it's about a size six. It's quite heavy. Very well made. We're gonna go $8 on this one. Okay, then this one has little rhinestones. Let's make sure they are all there. It is also quite heavy. Very nicely made. Nice inside, like new condition, nowhere inside. It's a size eight. Nine dollars on that one. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, I don't know. Is that supposed to look like that? I'm not sure. I mean, it holds together very well. I just haven't seen it looking like that before. It looks like it's new. Uh, that just needs to be, yeah, it just needs a little wipe down.
This is a six, size six. We're gonna go $7 on this one, it's really pretty. Okay, this one looks old. It looks like a milk glass to me. And it says made in Germany. And it is a size mm, almost a six. I'm a little twisted, so let's see if I can if I get rid of this twist here, if it'll make it to six. Yes, it will. So it's a size six. Nice vintage piece. We're going to go $8 on this one. Okay. This one has a brand new look to it. And I can't remember if this is one I thrifted or it came out of the jeweler's bin. It says stainless steel. It is a size 7. It looks brand new, really great shape. We're gonna go $9 on that one. Okay, what do we have here? This one has a chain. And how is this? Yeah, that's in good shape. Inside needs a little bit of a cleaning. Mm, ever so slightly magnetic. Yeah, it is magnetic. But very pretty detail in the engraving. Very, very beautiful piece. This one's a little more on the lightweight side. We're gonna go $9 on this one. Okay, this one's quite heavy. And it's in very nice shape. This is very, very nicely made. This is a gorgeous uh, bracelet. It's like new on the inside. It's a seven and three quarters. There might be just the tiniest bit of wear or something right there. But the rest of it looks great. Oh, there is a, you know what, I do remember, I looked this up, but I wasn't certain. So it says E Pearl, and there is a designer named Erwin Pearl, and I looked up on eBay, but there just weren't a lot of listings. Um, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous bracelet and it feels like really great quality. So we're going to go $20 on this one, $20 on this bracelet. Yep. Now I remember I did try to look that up. Okay. This one does not have any kind of mark. It has a nice clasp. Let's make sure, oh, we're missing one stone. Mm, two, we're missing two stones. 
but otherwise in great condition. I don't think this is too noticeable at all. Okay, it's a six and a quarter. I'm gonna go, I'm still gonna go $15 on this one just because of the quality of how it's made. So 15 for that one. Okay, this one is a cuff. It has an M on the inside. That's all I know. Oh, and it it says 24K. I, I did check this one out. I, I don't believe it's 24K. Maybe it was 24K plated. Just see if it might not be sterling. I don't, I just don't think that one's sterling, but let's see. No. So it's dissolving away. All right. Still a nice bracelet. We're going to go $8 on this one. Okay. Then we have one that looks vintage to me, looks very nicely made. It had a chain, no longer does. Oops, I missed. In great condition for its age. Needs a little wipe down on the inside. Okay. Not magnetic. Mm, I don't think this one's anything. No, that one's not anything. But it, it is gorgeous. <laughs> it's not it's not sterling, but it is a gorgeous bracelet. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go twenty dollars on this one, guys. This is an awesome bracelet. Beautiful, gorgeous, vintage bracelet. Okay, then we have this one, which I believe is also vintage. This reminds me of patterns that were on tie clips for men back in the 70s and 80s. And this one does say something. What does this one say? Ah, this is a Monet. Okay, so gorgeous vintage Monet bracelet in like new condition. seven and three quarters. So I am going to go $20 on this one. It's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous bracelet. All right. What do we have next? We have a gold tone and I don't know if it's real leather or faux leather. This one says Spidel. I do remember the Spidel name from when I was a kid. I don't know if they're still around or not. It's a cuff bracelet. A gorgeous vintage cuff bracelet. Six and three quarters. Quite heavy. Beautifully made. I'm going to go $18 on that one, guys. $18 on that one. Then I have what to me looks like a pewter bracelet. Not sure, but that's the vibe I'm getting from it. I see no markings. It's quite heavy. It's a seven and three quarters. 
$18 for this one. Okay. Then we have what looks like a vintage stretchy bracelet, but guys, this is not like today's stretchy. This will last a lifetime. I can't even describe it. It's, it's all metal. It's not cheap elastic. It needs a little cleaning, but this is just stunning. And the way it's made is amazing. It's a size seven. I'm gonna go $20 on this one. Okay, then we have, this one has a fold over clasp. And look at the detail on these links. This looks like a gorgeous, gorgeous vintage bracelet. I am looking on the inside. I don't see any maker's mark. It is a six and a quarter. I'm gonna go $23 on this one. $23 on that one. Okay, then we have, I'm not sure if the camera is really picking up how pretty this is. All the stones, or are they stones? I can't even see. I think it's all metal work. Yeah. I don't think they're stones. I think it's actually metal work that kind of looks like stones. All right, this does say something. All right, this one says 925 China. Let's see, I have not tested this one. Hmm. It starts out kind of coppery, then it becomes a little less coppery. Yeah, I think it's uh I think it is sterling. It's it's probably some sort of plated sterling to give it the gold color, but it is it is sterling. So let's measure this. It's about a seven and a quarter. So I'm going to say $35 for this one. $35 for that one. Let me put this in my little sterling area. Now I can't remember if I had any other sterling. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've got to go back and check. All right. And then we have a chain bracelet with interesting little old Mexican coins. This one's 1931, 1960, 1960 so it looks like this might go back to 1960 possibly 1960 this one looks Lebanese so and maybe maybe the first one I looked at was a Mexican coin so maybe this is um this one might be French Maybe this person got a coin from every country they went to. I don't know. 
<clears throat> but interesting vintage charm bracelet, six and a half. I'm gonna go $20 on this one too. This is just really unique. $20 vintage charm bracelets. Okay, then we have this one. No markings that I can see inside. Not magnetic. So let's, let's check this out. Nope, not sterling. Okay, pretty design. It has a little bit green here, I think, oh, and here too. I'm gonna put this one aside with that other one that's showing that green. I just don't want to contaminate everything else. All right, this one says, P-A-J. Okay. Similar to that other one, different design, but these aren't stones. They are, they are metal. Let's check this one out too, since that other one was. getting dissolved that was the class but let me just check one of the links because it reminds me so much of that other one okay let's just do that there's plenty of solution there yeah no that one is not sterling but it is beautiful so I'm going to go $14 on this one. It is in like new condition. All right. This looks like a vintage rhinestone bracelet. A little more ornate than the prior one. It says smart set oh well, that's that's kind of interesting okay not sterling but beautiful let's see what size this is this is a six and a half i'm gonna go ten dollars on this one ten dollars for that one that one's vintage for sure Okay, then we have this one. This one does have stones. Any markings? Let's see if we can spot any markings. No markings. It is... seven inches. Let's check and see. If, yeah, it is magnetic. Okay, I am going to go $15 on this one. Very pretty, like new condition. Okay, this one looks like a gold nugget chain. 
very pretty. I think this one for sure is vintage. It's about a six and a half. Any markings? No, no markings. Yep, magnetic. So I'm going to say $15 for this one, guys. This one looks vintage to me. Okay, we have another chain bracelet. This one does say something. Avon. And I think this one's, this is something different though. No, it says Avon too. All right. So this isn't a vintage Avon. It is six inches. Not magnetic. I'm going to go $8 on this one. Okay, what's this one? Oh, this one is <clears throat> this one is a Trafari. That one's a Trafari. In great condition. Pretty heavy. Seven inches. And we're going to go $22 on this one. It's a Trafari, guys. It's beautiful. Okay, then we have, and this one says something too. What does this say? Dorlan. Do, yeah, Dorlan or De Orlan. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, so this is a vintage designer. Vintage bracelet. Let's make sure. All the stones are there. All the stones are there. Oh, what's this? Stone is there. Oh, it just needs a little. It just needs that little bit cleaned off, whatever that is. Stone is there. Any other markings? No, nope, no other markings. Six and a half. I'm going to go $28 on this one. $28 on this beautiful vintage bracelet. Okay, what do we have here? Similar to some of the others. A little wider than some of the others. Heavy quite heavy. It is um, seven inch. Okay, not magnetic. I'm going to go $20 on this one, guys. Very beautiful vintage bracelet. Then we have, this one's more delicate. I don't think there's stones here. I think this is just metal work to make it look like stones. Okay. 
this is 925. All right, let's check it out. It's scratching up like it might be. Yep, that one is sterling. I think it's plated with something and then sterling underneath. So 25 for this one. Okay, not too many more. All right, this one is also a vintage stretchy, but my God, this is a lifetime stretchy. This is not, <laughs> this is not 2022 stretchy. This is probably, I don't know, 1950, 1960 stretchy, but this will last millennia. <laughs> this one is amazing. Um, okay, let's see, it needs a clean. I don't think this is sterling. Let's see. It wasn't magnetic, which is kind of surprising. Mm, I don't think so. Gorgeous <clears throat> three tone. So black enamel, gold tone, silver tone. Beautiful bracelet. Guys, I'm going to go 35 on this one. I think it's worth it. This is just an amazing bracelet. As is this one. It's also stretchy. Not as much stretchy as the other one. But it's, you know, it's got a stretch. It's all metal. It's got a beautiful design. Let's see if that one might be sterling. No. Okay. Since this one doesn't stretch as much, let's measure it. It's about a seven unstretched. I'm gonna go 35 on this one too, guys. It is amazing. You just don't see this in today's world anymore. This kind of craftsmanship, it doesn't exist. Okay, this one's a black enamel gold tone. And we need even all these clasps, right? Today it's just a magnet. These are just so nicely done. This is a Napier. So I think vintage Napier. It's a size seven. No, more like a six and three quarters. 25 on this one, guys. Vintage Napier. All right, this one, it's not magnetic. It's just like that. And I think this is Crocodile. It says low. I tried to look that up. I did not find much. It's... I would say a size six. So I am gonna go $20 on this one. Nice vintage piece. I think this one's vintage too. Again, beautiful clasp. There is wear on the inside and an old sticker that says 20. Nice design. Little bit of wear right there. 
I think this one's vintage too, six and a half. And I, I'm going to go 12 on this one because of the wear inside, 12. Nice vintage piece. And then we have another mystery bangle. I don't know if this isn't Bakelite. I have a suspicion it might be. In great shape. It just feels like you just don't, it doesn't feel like today's plastics. Seven and a half. If anybody wants to comment below, let me know. But I think this is something better than what we see nowadays. So I'm going to go $30 on this one because I suspect it might be big light. I might be totally wrong, though. I'm no expert at that. But uh, leave a comment below. All right, guys. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, Please hit the like and the subscribe buttons and leave some comments below if you liked this lot. It's uh, a little pricier than what I usually do, but the quality is much better. And you're getting some really, really nice pieces in these lots. I would like to continue buying these lots. Um, they're not cheap for me either to pick them up because I buy them by the bin and she's a jeweler and she knows what she's selling. So um, I want to continue to do this uh, and leave some comments below. Let me know. I kind of enjoy seeing these quality pieces. So let me know what you think. All right, guys, I will see you soon. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you taking your time and spending time with me. And uh, hopefully you'll join me next time. All right, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.